thank you everyone who has been watching my videos i really really want i appreciate it so please 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 watch my videos because i i really want you to see the joy i, I have and pass them down to you all the joy and happiness and the power of stories so let's get started the nightingale there was a king who was not not patient nothing he never listened to anyone. All he was very negative to everyone and never listened. He, all he did is commanding everyone to do everything. People soon started to hear the song of a nightingale. They are a beautiful and sing lovely melodies that everyone likes to hear. Even better than the melodies I sing in music class. The nightingale was heard all around across their town and all soon came to the king. He was so mad. He was utterly mad and uh, stomped to his servants and commanded, if, Find the nightingale! If you don't, you will have a very badly put on punishment. But if you do find it, I will give you my gratitude and everything I have and have a very, very good, polite treat install if you do find the nightingale. Everyone in the town and from the streets and everybody looked for the nightingale. No one knew where the nightingale was, but only one person knew where it the nightingale lived and was the maid of the king she ran to help everyone the king finally got the nightingale and the first time he listened to the song he cried like a baby the king cried even better than my baby brother he just cried and had a million he used a million tissues throwing them on the floor the cage of that nightingale was beautiful at the bottom on at the ends of the cage there are glittering roses and rubies and diamonds and emeralds all over the cages with beautiful roses at the bottom and on the top the chain was made of silver coins and precious precious jewels that the king admired when he looked at the cage the nightingale looked beautiful in the cage because all the nighting the king painted the nightingale gave him makeup and dress up and then he made him match his the cage and locked it up in there he had to the nightingale had 12 maids and always got food on at the same time as the king did and only could go out two times a day and once in the night he didn't dare anyone to clean the 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 nightingale's cage he did himself if someone would try and dust it and clean it up he'd slap their hand and say pause off and they used to run away the king would use his would use his special tools and brush and br would brush it off gently like he wanted to do it and would sat sit down and stare at the nightingale for hours even when he's eating food and he never dared to sleep in his bedroom he slept with the nightingale they, he asked all his servants to move the bed next to the nightingale and he only slept there instead but there once one fine morning there was a mysterious package it was a nightingale clock worked and i want to tell you something else about it it didn't eat food nothing he even loved it more and put it in the cage instead and slept with that and uh, banned the nightingale from the palace forever and said with a big loud voice you are banned your squeaky silly sounds 
interrupt my the melody of the clockwork. So I banned you forever. You shall never to come to my mysterious country, which was the name, and you shall be banned. The nightingale didn't cry. Wasn't happy. Wasn't sad. She didn't know what to do at all. The king enjoyed the song of the clockwork nightingale for years, but one day it broke down. All the clockwork people and everyone tried to fix it, but pleaded for no punishment because they utterly couldn't fix the clockwork nightingale. But one day, the king got sick and was about to die. And before he died, he pleaded with dismissed and begged for hours to listen to the nightingale song one more time at the clockwork, the real one. They didn't know how to get the nightingale back, but the nightingale, he came back himself. And now from the hall, of the palace, he sang a big, loud song that everyone could hear across the country. It sounded beautiful. I couldn't repeat it at all. The king, when he heard the song of the nightingale, he the sickness and every part of him blew away. It just flew out and his sickness was gone. He was happy. He felt so alive, never this alive before. It felt so alive. The nightingale flew up above the dying bed and said to the king, the first time you heard my song, you cried. And the king replied, maybe I cried a little. I'm sorry I was rude to you and everyone in the country. I just couldn't help it because I was mad. I'm not kind at all, but now from now on I will. And that's how he learned his lesson from the nightingale song. And then the nightingale also said, King, I want to tell you something. He listened carefully. I want, still want to be your pet, except with some other rules. I will live in that cage, but please make it loose because I can't stand the tightness and not locked. I want it to be where I can open myself, where I can go in and out of the palace whenever I want, singing songs to everyone in the country, the, the poor, the mean, the kind, everyone. I won't care. I'd sing their song. The king said, do whatever you want. Sometimes, even though you don't want something, you still have to do it as a sacrifice which the king from now on knew and also never was rude to anyone again. And happily ruled the town with the nightingale's help. The end. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed the story and give me a big thumbs up. And one more thing, always be kind, never be rude. If you're rude, you would end up with a bad story. So if you're rude right now when you're watching this, don't be rude. Be kind. Because there will be some bad consequences if you're rude. So always be kind. And again, goodbye.